Hello YouTube, in this video I will add the last missing piece to my electrical overlanding system, relax and obviously fabricate some parts. First, I want to say I'm not a glue guy. I'm personally more for welding and fabricating parts in a way that they can be assembled and disassembled. Or in case of this project, so that at least solar panels can be removed easy. Flexible solar panels can be flexed in one plane. My good old auto home Columbus roof bends in two planes at the rear. Additionally, surface is not even. Middle section is higher and then there is down step so gluing is not an option i decided to fabricate some mounts to which i can bolt solars they are going to be made out of 304 stainless steel and 304 bolts this kind of steel is much harder than ordinary mild steel so you have to be very careful with tools not to overheat them The biggest downside is that I have to drill through top cover of my tent and to be honest I didn't like it at all. But I will be able to remove or replace the solar panels at any time. I have also made 16 small spacers between 6mm bolt mount and 8mm solar eyelet to have everything perfectly in the center. These spacers are temporary, just for mount positioning. solar panel weighs 0.95 kilo, has 65 watts of power, 22 volts and 2.95 amps. I have also fabricated two top mounts from aluminum flat bar for solar panel fronts, so that wind does not rip off my entire installation during driving. For solar installation I used 4mm square cable, connectors and some other small accessories. some electrical rules to optimize charging capabilities of solar system. For example, if you have 12 volt battery, then you should have at least 24 volt solar panel for better efficiency. Current is important too versus battery capacity. I was limited with my rooftop tent surface, which is not even, but anyway, I think I mounted there pretty much as I could. So solar is on.
Good news is no explosion, no short circuit. Having four solar panels, I decided to create two serial strings so that I double single panel voltage from 22 volts to 44 volts in single serial connection. Then I made parallel connection with these two serial strings so that I double current from 2.95 to 5.90 amps. Next day I could not believe my eyes. Sun, clear sky, perfect conditions to test my solar installation. I set every gear I had and sat for a while. I considered starting some space program like deploying my G on Mars. But after thinking it through I gave it the lowest priority on my to-do list and continued my solar tests. I used Thermomix again. I found it a good tool to drain my additional battery. With Thermomix I do much more real use case test. I prepared one more shakshuka and this time I was cooking outside. It was end of February, it was sunny but still pretty cool. There are four eggs at the top of this meal and I'm speaking about this that while cooking outdoors in such a cool conditions I had to double Varoma cooking so in total I was draining battery for more than half an hour. I think I would not be the same brave being somewhere in the forest. There is also Victron Energy Mobile app and I have to say I like it a lot. I can see all my three devices and see each device status, change many settings, browse through history, etc. I also went for a test drive and first kilometers I did not feel comfortable at all. I gained confidence after some 20 kilometers on the highway. If you plan to install solar panels, do it as strong as you can. Conclusion is that all that solar installation is pretty much great helping hand and it was last missing part of my additional overlanding electrics. Music